Back in jail, a trio accused of holding two teens captive put into handcuffs. Only 8 News Now was there. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Kirsten Joyce. And I'm Brian Loftus. Now, one of the defendants is a school employee. 8 News Now investigator Vanessa Murphy has the latest on the judge's decision to set cash bail. Defense attorneys asked for the trio to remain out of custody, but the judge pointed to material like body camera video of one of the alleged victims, the teen girl, appearing to be rescued by police, and the judge set bail. She is remaining to custody. Addie Gonzalez learning she's being taken to jail. Clark County District Court Judge Tierra Jones setting cash bill at $75,000 for the aunt accused of holding her adopted niece and nephew captive and abusing them physically and psychologically for years. Bail for her live-in boyfriend Daniel Omaskua set at $25,000 and bail for the children's grandma set at $10,000. Prosecutors say Maria Pasadin visited the home frequently and held the key to the room where the teen girl was found in conditions like this, including a bucket for the bathroom. This case is bone-chilling. It is disturbing the fact that these two children survived the systematic abuse for years. It's just unfathomable. North Las Vegas police say they found the girl locked in this room after neighbors found her trying to get water last November. This is a ladder from the second floor. It is something that you only see on TV. Gonzalez has been a family learning advocate for the Clark County School District since 2005. According to CCSD, she's now on unpaid leave. Defense attorneys argue the trio is not a danger to the community. Judge Jones disagrees. And it is very, very concerning to this court. All three defendants pleaded not guilty. Reporting at the Regional Justice Center in downtown Las Vegas, Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. Vanessa, thank you. An update on the alleged victims. Prosecutors say the teen boy has aged out of the child welfare system while the teen girl is in protective custody and is currently in high school. Just in, the 8 News Now investigators learning the grandmother, Maria Passeran, is now out of custody and has been given at least 24 hours to post bail after her attorney argued that she has health issues. That's according to court staff.